Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here for the Solo Coder. Today, no news is not good news. So, there is a place and time that no news is good news. It's when you deliver a project to your client and you don't hear from him. Well, that's usually good because, hey, everything is working fine. It's delivered, that's fine, great. Although I, ha I recommend following up and seeing if there are other opportunities to, for you to help them out. Now, there is a key stage of any project that no news is not good news. If you are in the middle of the project and for some reason you are waiting for the client to get back to you with some feedback, with more information, and you don't hear from the client within a, a few days, within a week, within over a week, within a few weeks, that is dangerous. Because one day that client will wake up and will say, hey, this project should have been done already. How come it's not done? They will go back to you and now we're gonna have to play the blaming game. You have to say, hey, I was waiting for you on your feedback. I was waiting for you on the requirements. I was waiting for you about this additional information that I need from you. Okay, so my question to you is, how come you needed that information and you then keep pressuring your clients every other day? You cannot wait and have the project come back to you and blow on your face like that because it will blow. The client will realize that he may have paid you, you know, maybe 50% uh, of the project already. The project is not done. It's beyond the, the time limit that was set and he, he, he will not realize that you were waiting for them, even though you might have been waiting for them, but he'll say, hey, you should have come to me being proactive, being go, going back to being a, a proactive coder. You should have gone back to him, ask what's happening. Things are, for some reason, we are delaying the project and we are missing those key information, key, key elements here on the, on the project. So again, you have to be on top of the client. Now, don't don't bury the client with too many re requests or too too much stuff for them to do. But keep them in line and know that their input at some point in the project might be essential for the project to keep moving forward. I'll bring it back to me. Just about two weeks ago, actually not two weeks, two days ago. I went back to a client of, of ours saying that, hey, I think that this project is getting is getting sidetracked. I don't hear from you. I don't I don't hear your feedback here for us to move to the next phase. What is happening here? I think that we should do one, two, three next week to get things back on track. So I went proactive on the clients. I didn't wait for him to come back to me and say, hey, what's going on? Now I have to remind him that I was waiting for him. No, that's not a game that you want to play. Bring it back to me again. I go back to Deskpal. Deskpal, we have subscription-based clients and they need to request our, our help so we can assist them. Now, I'm usually very concerned if, uh, if a client of ours hasn't sent any tasks for over a month because what will happen is that one day they will wake up and they'll say, hey, I'm paying Deskpal, but I'm not sending them any tasks. How come I should stop, you know, that subscription? So being proactive and realize that no news is not good news in those kind of situations and being proactive will, will help you to avoid pissed off clients and projects that will blow on your face and you may have to end up refunding the client. So you don't want to, to get to those kinds of, of, of situations. So bottom line here is that there's a time and place where good news is, is where no news is good news, but it's not in the middle of a project. In the middle of a project, you need to have news. You need to keep communicating. This goes back to frequent communications with your clients. That's it for now. End of this ramble. Slack peeps that keep talking. Question for you coders out there. What do you do? when a client goes cold on you, they don't reply to your emails anymore, you are in the middle of the project, what do you do about that? That's it, Slack peeps, let's keep talking, have comments, questions, concerns, this is BS, this is not BS, this is useful, this is not useful, comment here on the YouTube channel. 
as well. That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.